So like when you make friends, how do you make friends as an adult? You just sit down with somebody and start talking. So like most time it's either at work or church, right? That's how you do it as an adult. Because those are the places you now start going to your social events, work, you go to church, you go to the grocery store, you see the same people at the grocery store. You're now friendly. You've now developed a relationship. Do you exchange numbers? Do they come over, eat with you, break bread, right? Do you share drinks? Do you smoke? What do you do with these people, right? Friends, right? So I was thinking to myself, I need a friend, right? But that's trust. I have to be able to trust you, right? And one day somebody said, Sharon, they're investigating you. And then Debbie Weinberger, specific name, said, the list that you sent to Joshua R. Williams for witnesses for you are all witnesses against you. And I looked at the name Debbie Weinberger. I thought about the appellate court, and then I no longer trusted anyone around me. Everybody then became suspect. I even went to the city hall downtown Minneapolis and asked, were you investigating me? Like a blue cop came out of this room where they sent me, right? Because just like if you're a narc, are you a narc? Narcotics officer. Uh, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, ATF, right? Are you investigating me? You know, because investigating me is different than entrapping me. You know, entrapping me means that you can send 20 people to, let's say, McDonald's, and them 20 people in that McDonald's are now on your team, and they're going to do things that you say do to me. The only one in the McDonald's that's not a part of your team. So they're going to give me bad food, bad coffee. They're going to ring me up for more money. They're going to be entrapping me, right? Because that's going to provoke a behavior. You know, bad food, I might get loud, give it back. Overcharge me, I'm going to demand my money back, make you shut down your register, count it. Even for 20 cents, right? I mean, because if you take 20 cents from me, and you take 20 cents from 100 people, that adds up at the end of the day. And then at the end of the day, if you do it five days, seven days, that's an amount of money. So if you take seven days in a week, and there's four weeks in a month, that's 28, 30 days, 31 days sometimes. So we now have a amount of money in a year that we could say that 20 cents added up to be, and it made this dollar amount, right? Now, am I investigating you because someone told me you're, you know, penny pinching people that way, or did you just do it to me? Now, I'm watching you, and I'm investigating you. Not the place that you work at where somebody might have told you how to penny pinch, steal, where everybody in there now knows how to penny pinch, steal, that 20 group, that 20, uh, that, that 20 sets, that, that 20, what is it? It's a group of 20 people, say it right, <laughs> are now all in the know because one person told them, taught them how to penny pinch and now the whole establishment, that would require an investigation if everybody did it that way, right? But again, I'm not thinking that's what you're doing as you're working, selling me stuff, working around me, doing these things, you know, like when I went to the Walmart and I stood there and I read the kiosk where there was 10 cards and they all said visa and I needed to make sure they went to a hotel, but then they didn't go to the hotel. I bought that visa with a Walmart logo that was supposed to be to a specific bank, but then they said, no, I put $700 on a Walmart card and I wanted to spend $700 at Walmart right and I'm like fuck out of here I put $700 on a motherfucking visa because I was on my way to the hotel and I didn't have the money on my Wells Fargo card I just took it off and I was putting it on this bitch and they said no and I said somebody at that Walmart went behind me that was when we moved into the Huntington Apartments and as we moved into the Huntington Apartments and that happened right 
I kept saying the people at the Huntington Apartments was working at that Walmart and they were doing things for Andrea. And I said, Andrea had this group of people where she was stalking me, you know, through the Facebook, creating a team where they might be intimidating, retaliating, and they could be that witness that Debbie Weinberger talked about. But then Debbie Weinberger would have to ask, is this a legitimate investigation or did you entrap somebody, set them up? Because that is illegal and you cannot do that under the law. I said, that's what Andrea was doing. I said, Andrea Faulkner, through Michael Cooper Sr., I thought with 612-385-4522 were again, my kids were 17, Gary turned 18, 18, 19, and I didn't need my cell phone anymore. And I said I didn't need a cell phone, but Michael Cooper Sr. took me to Booth. Booth over there near Access. And as Michael Cooper Sr. took me to Booth over there near Access, Michael Cooper Sr. said, I have to keep tabs on you, Sharon. I'm getting you a cell phone. Same year he got me a purse from Coach. Same year he got me that iPhone where he needed it on the way out the door.